Программирование — это разновидность спойлера. Programming is a variation of spoilage. Only it's meant to work on an unlimited number of people. It is a sort of mini spoilage or spoilage light. Let's call it that. The programming usually happens through mass media. The main goal of programming is to simplify human consciousness by the simplification of the mental body. By implanting a program similar to a bacteria, but this bacteria it is camouflaged as a beneficial bacteria, meaning that it doesn't cause obvious harm. It just simplifies one's mental body, similarly lowering the existential volume of a person. Since this programming affects an unlimited number of people, it turns out that the existential volume decreases in all of them. But we know very well that according to the law of energy conservation, nothing appears out of nowhere, just like it cannot vanish into nowhere. This means that if one person's existential volume is lowered, it transfers to the one who gave him the program to lower the existential volume, meaning to the egregor which does the program. Programming. As a rule, these are egregors of the elemental level, as well as those of social and financial institution levels. So let's look at the hierarchical structure of the egregorial space. We will be studying this model when we get to the senior courses. Those of you who are currently going through our Power of the Bloodline course, you would also be quite familiar with this subject. Here we have a person, and above him this energo-informational structure. The most simple and closest egregorial level to him is the egregor of family and bloodline. This egregor can protect a person as well as diminish him in rights. This would depend on the degree of interaction he finds himself in within the system. Next we have the elemental layer, elemental egregorial level. This would be the so-called layer of the elemental egregors, such as the egregors of your work, egregors of fashion trends, egregor of some type of new elemental formations such as soccer clubs, etc. Here we have the most aggressive, the most trashy environment. On the one hand, we are working here on developing our immunity in this viral world by catching different viruses and teaching our immune system to combat them. This is where we have this energo-informational trash dump, where anything can can be found. The professional level is more serious. This one doesn't just teach you, but also protects you. Above this, there is the higher level of financial and social institutions, and it is as a rule subordinate to the governmental environment, as it controls the world around us. It is very similar to the elemental level, a similar trash dump, but a dump not meant for you, not for a person, but for the professional egregors. That is where they toughen themselves up in that aggressive environment. The government level is a serious level. It oversees processes similarly to the way that the professional level oversees processes for the living, for the people. Next, we have the level of the religious systems, which in turn control the governments. Above it, there is such formation as the gods, which act as the foundation for the formation of any egregorial system by implanting into egregors such a concept as an idea. So if we are to discuss the subject of programming, programming is quite a high level, belonging to the system which is located higher than the professional level, meaning the level of the social financial institutions. Usually, that is where the programming comes from and is designed for keeping the consciousness of a person from rising above the elemental level. It would affect the professional institutions as if saying, keep your adepts under control, don't allow them to move higher. The purpose of programming is to simplify the masses. If the purpose of spoilage is to simplify an individual, then programming simplifies the masses. Usually a program is never created for some particular individual. A spoilage would be enough for that. 
When a mass programming happens, it is usually directed at everybody. To buy or not to buy, to go or not to go, to desire or not to desire, to strive for or not to strive for. This, as a rule, is a binary system, meant to force the person to take certain actions on the level of the causal body. And programming, on the contrary to spoilage, affects not only the mental, but also the causal body. It works according to the principle, if you're entering the store, then you do this. If you're turning on the TV, you turn it on when this one particular show is on. If you're looking into the blue eyes of your president, you experience these types of emotion. If you hear information from the press secretary of the president, you must feel the X, Y and Z. Programming is to feel in a certain way, to act in a certain way, to think in a certain way, so that everything turns out great. And the person loses her ability to think critically. Then certain programs are created which turn on all the rest on their own, such as the program of patriotism, the consumption program, survival program specific to a certain environment with the rules for survival in a certain environment. If you act according to law, you will survive. If you won't, you die. Meaning these sort of simple norms, and they always are binary as a rule. They too are easily trackable. For example, by thinking that you should be acting differently, you would get a fear or panic attack. That is a program. It can be detected. And we will be doing that in our senior courses, when working with our causal and buddhic bodies, and with the mental body too, by the way, as it cuts these programs' power supply, rendering them non-functional. If a thought that you can take a risk evokes a sense of deep terror, that is it, it is programming. All of this can be caught, all of this can be resolved. It is very important to be able to correctly diagnose the issue. At the moment when fear overcomes you, ask yourself, who is being afraid? What am I afraid of actually? Common people, those who work on their consciousness and can catch certain influences as a rule, utilize the method known as to experience your own fear to a maximum. That is, just imagine that everything that you are afraid of has already happened. Live through that experience in your imagination. And after some time it will get easier for you. Our method is technically different, it is true. But this method here we can apply as well. But in addition to this method, we also use astral cleansing practices, which make these experiences transpire quite a bit easier and solve a load of other problems as well. And of course, there is also such a thing as awareness. Awareness because these sporadic reactions must be caught. If they're not actually yours, if they're not natural, you just simply have to ask yourself a question. Who is it? that is afraid right now within me, and find this program, find its source. Because any spoilage, as any programming, is meant to hold a person within a certain caste, not giving her the opportunity to rise up. And we perfectly understand that holding somebody in one caste means to simplify the mental body, meaning that a person should think a certain way and have no critical thinking abilities, and preferably not even have the desire to have such in the first place. Meaning to believe without questioning, such as if we were told to wear masks, we wear them. If we were told to vaccinate, we vaccinate. If told that there is a virus, we believe it. If told that it is over, we believe it. That is to unquestionably obey without a doubt in our minds that if we are told something, surely that is how it actually is. Programming usually happens by the means of mass media, as well as in certain other ways used by the egregorial system at night. How that happens, we will discuss at a later time.